The Lawrence Welk Show. Sit back and enjoy tonight's show. Especially selected for public television by America's favorite music man. Your host, Lawrence West. Hi, folks. Isn't this a beautiful car? It's a 1936 Ford. I dreamed about cars like this when I was still a youngster on the farm. And later during the 30s, I even managed to buy some very fine cars. I had a Court Cabriolet a Pierce Arrow in Auburn, and I used to tell the boys, fellas, we may not be making much money, but we got to travel in style, and we did. The 30s were great years for us in so many, many ways. Number one, we were young, the little band was growing, and the wonderful, wonderful music of the big bands was heard from coast to coast. Let's go back to those swinging years right now and watch a show we first presented in 1977 and here's the band with one of the glenn miller all-time great hits in the mood I would love to have been around in those days, Me wouldn't you? Too, the 1930s, yeah. the beginning of the swing era of music. That's right, and there were some great ballads back uh, in that era too, you know. And mm -hmm. in fact, we're going to do one that's still popular today, right? Let's do sure. It. Yeah. 
French song titled La Mer. Let's listen to Henry Cuesta and this fine Bob Ballard recording arrangement. Gentlemen, are you ready? A one, <coughs> two, and <coughs>
Wasn't that nice? Henry and I used to drive to and from the television studio every week, but not in a rumble seat like this. And Henry's wife, Jeanette, always baked a delicious lemon cake or some other homemade cookies for us. I don't know which I miss most, Henry's clarinet or Jeanette's cooking. Now back to the swinging 30s and our handsome baritone, Tom Netherton. Tom sings Don't Play Me, a song that was made very popular by both Rudy Valley and Ethel Waters in 1933. And here's Tom. Don't blame me for falling in love with you. I'm under your spell, but how can I help it? Don't blame me. Can't you see when you do the things you do? If I can't conceal the thrill that I'm feeling, don't blame me. I guess think of Phil Harris as a comedian or a television personality, but he started out in the 30s as a band leader. Here's Larry Hooper to sing a song that's long been associated with Phil Harris. <laughs> You come with me to Alabama. We're gonna see my dear old mammy. She's frying eggs and broiling hammy, and that's what I like about the South. She got baked ribs and candy jams, sugar cured Virginia hams, basement full of those berry jams, and that's what I like about the South. Hot cornbread and black eyed peas. You can eat as much as you please, cause it's never out of season, and that's what I like about the South. I don't take one, have two. They're dark brown and chocolate too. They suit me and they must suit you. That's what I like about the South. Way down where the cane grows tall, down where they say you all. Walk on in by that southern drawl, and that's what I like about the South. Down where they have those pretty queens, where they dream those dreamy dreams. Sip that absence in New Orleans, and that's what I like about the South. Now here comes Bob with all the news, box back coat and button shoes. All paid up with these union dudes, and that's what I like about the South. Here comes Roy down the street, can't you hear those shuffling feet? He would rather sleep than eat. That's what I like about the South. Now every time I pass your door, you act like you don't want me no more. You just shake your head and sigh. I'll go walking right on by. She's got backbone and turnip greens, ham hocks and butter beans. You and me and New Orleans, that's what I like about the South. Yowza, yowza. That's what I like about the South. Isn't it good to hear that big bass voice again of Larry Hoover, even deeper than Phil Harris? Folks, I'm sure you will enjoy Sandy Gale and Mary Lou and the Andrew Sisters version of this hit song of the 30s. By mere bitsy shame, please let me explain. By mere bitsy shame, me that you pray. By mere bitsy shame, again. language 
wouldn't be complete without a salute to the king of swing, Benny Goodman. Here's one of Benny's big hits. us memories of the famous Casaloma band and singer Kenny Sargent, Bob Ralston at the piano.
Josephine. What a wonderful control of this voice. Here's a dance craze by the outstanding dance team of the 30s. Ginger Rogers and Fred Astaire, the Continental. And of course, you'll see uh, the top dance team of the 70s, Sissy and Bobby. and Sissy King, great as usual. It's a pleasure for me to introduce this next act, a charming young lady, Anna Connie, and a versatile gentleman, Jack Immel, on the marimba. And that also gives me a little chance to try my Spanish. Listen to this title. Adios, Mariquita Linda. Not too bad for a Norwegian farmer from South Dakota, huh? <laughs> One of the world's greatest Dixieland trombone man, Bob Havens. Bob, before you play, would you tell the folks something about yourself? Fine, Lawrence. Well, originally I'm from Quincy, Illinois, and uh, of course I have been playing with Lawrence's band for 17 years. But before that, I was with uh, New Orleans bands, Al Hurt and Pete Fountain, and what a great time I had there. 
I'd like to show you how I used to play down there. Here's a song called China Boy, and if Bob Smale will give me a little Chinese introduction, we're ready to go. One, two, uh, one, two, three. <laughs> Havens, that was sensational. Folks, everyone in the band has tremendous respect for Bob Pellon. He's just amazing. And by the way, this is a 1927 Studebaker. Isn't it something? Now let's return to the swinging 30s and six of our pretty girls. Someone asked me uh, one time, who picks the pretty girls on our show? Now, friends, I ask you, isn't that a silly question? Who would pick the girls for my show? That's my pleasant duty, of course, and here they are with one of Russ Morgan's great hits. So tired. Girls, you're on. Waiting for you. Go, time. 
Wasn't that nice? And folks, you heard Barnett Adele doing a fine job of imitating Russ Morgan on the trombone. Arthur Duncan, it's time to give the folks a few more pointers on tap dancing as a form of exercise. Good evening. Lesson tonight. Flap heel, flap heel. This step is called walking the dog. The very first step I learned was a time step. This is the basic step for all tap dancers. Demonstration. Anybody can do it. Wait just one minute, Arthur. You said anyone can do that. Did Any you mean that? I certainly did. One and two and a... Well... <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Arthur, you may run along. I wouldn't meet you anymore. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you better stay here. <laughs> I'd like to get back to the swinging thirties and do a great song from those days. Stomping at the Savoy. your tap dancing lesson for this week and that's a couple of steps that the boss can practice on the golf course here's a song that was recorded by many singers in the 30s and you'll hear it by our own country gal Ava Barber Ava, 
is now in her home state of Tennessee. And Ava, if you're listening, why don't you sit right down and write me a letter? We'd love to hear from you. Folks, isn't this something? It's a 1914 Model T. I sure remember this car. It's just like the one we had on the farm when I was just a little boy. Kate Smith made this next song famous. Here's our own Kate, Kathy Sullivan, to sing it for you with Bob Rawson at the organ. Okay, Kathy, you're on. Let's not forget the great Tommy Dorsey band. And here's one of Tommy's recording hits, the original Boogie Woogie. Gentlemen, one, two, and could dance to something like that. The other night at the Michigan State Fair in Detroit, I ran into a fellow that asked if we might make a salute sometime to the great street singer Arthur Tracy. And we're going to do that right now. Jimmy Roberts is going to play the part of Arthur Tracy, and our good friend Charles Mignotti used to provide the accompaniment on the accordion. May I? Great. <laughs> Your 
fragrance divine Rosebud of the days of my childhood Watched you bloom in the wild wood And I hoped you'd be mine the sigh and I find you are On a song that's saluting the swinging 30s, we sure can't re remember. I already blew that one. We certainly should not forget the great, late Satchmo Louis Armstrong. Here's a song that was a big hit for Louis. If you I'm confessing that I love you. Tell me, do you love me too? I'm confessing that I love you. Honest, I do. Need you every moment In your eyes I see such strange things Not that strange But your lips deny they're true Will your answer really change things Making me blue I'm gonna move along if you don't mind, okay? I'm afraid someday you'll leave me I can get at you better here Saying, can't we still be friends? Oh, you'd love to leave me or just be friends? friends. Okay, we'll be friends okay. All in life on you depends Am I guessing that you leave me? You are leaving me, aren't you? Saying, can't we still be friends? I'm gonna find someone over here. Can you get us here? I'm confessing that I love you over again. I'm confessing. 
person that I love you introduced a new sister team on our show, the Aldrich sisters from Knoxville, Tennessee. And for the past few weeks, the girls have been working as singing hostesses at our restaurant in Escondido. And we've been hearing some very nice comments about the girls. We decided to bring them back for an encore. Here they are, two lovely ladies, Sheila and Sherry. as I love you. Can't you see I'm sorry for each mistake I've made? Can't you see My musical family aren't angels, but they sure sing like we are.
So I hope you enjoyed our trip back to the swinging 30s. Now keep a song in your heart, and may all your memories be happy. Good night. Stay tuned for Bringing Up Baby, next here on Channel 17.